Alright guys, today I'm going to teach you how to get Nestbox working on your Xbox, because not, not a lot of people know how to do it. So first you're going to go to the store and search up this app called Internet Browser. Now this browser actually supports downloads, which you'll need. Now you're just going to search up a game that you want to get, right? And so I just got Super Mario World, okay? See? Super Mario World USA.zip. You're going to click Save. I was going to see a notification, just hold the Xbox button. It should be right here. Click A, click A on here, and you should see save as, you click A again. Now, it's going to pop up here. It's going to go left, go here, and go to this device. I don't know if it's going to be like this for you, but I'm just going to put it here. Now you're going to press this little back button here, and you're going to press save. Now that it's there, you're going to go back into the Xbox store and search up Metro Commander. I already have it installed, so I just have to go to it. Now, once it installs, you're going to go to Browse, and you're going to, so, I'm actually going to do it so you guys can see. You're going to go to Browse, and it's going to pop this up again. Now, you're just going to go to the same place that you saved it at. So, I put it there. And you're going to press the little back button again, you're going to press Select. Now, all of these files are going to, oh, for me, all of these files are going to load up. But, for you, the, the game that you downloaded should be here. Now, you're going to press the other button, this little uh, Start button here, on the file. And you're gonna see copy the clipboard. Now you're gonna go to um, navigation, and you should see um, OneDrive. Now, if you click it, it's gonna ask for permission. So just click yes, and you have to make a file called .nestbox. Uh, this is gonna be OneDrive temp. This is the file that I have the games in. And now you're gonna see this little icon. You're gonna press that, and it's gonna copy it to the file, the folder. Now, I'm just going to press cancel because I already have it here. Now, it should be, th this is the game, it should be here. Now, you're going to go to the store one more time and search up best player and TV. You're going to load it up. Now, you're just going to go to here. It's going to ask for permission for your OneDrive again. Looks like a cloud, kind of. Go back. Okay. Going to go to the next, the next box folder, right? Going to go to the OneDrive temp. The files and the file should be here now this is the actual file you're going to go to the one that says zip you're gonna click that you're gonna to go to extract to folder do not put extract here because it will not work go to extract to folder now it's gonna pop this up just click close and you're gonna to go to here now you're gonna to go to wherever it was at and you're gonna see it right at the top depending on what the letter is so it's D and it should be right here so what you're going to do now is you're going to press the little button again, the little uh, start button. And then you're going to go to move. Now you're going to go back into the OneDrive. Go to NestBox, OneDrive temp, the folder. And now you're going to go down here until you see move here. Now I'm just going to press close. And it should be here. And then finally, all you have to do is just go to your regular Microsoft Edge. And you're gonna go to you're gonna go to nestbox.itch.io slash x1, but I forgot to put that. So I'm actually gonna put it now. Dot itch.io slash x1. And it's gonna pop up this. It's gonna pop up a white screen, and then uh a, a box is gonna pop up and show this. Now, you're going to take the mouse and you're just going to click on it. And you're just going to press A. Press A to open the ROM. Press A again. Press A. And then this is the folder that I had the game in. And if you did everything correctly, the game should be here. This was the game that I was talking about. Defender Adjust. So you're just going to click on it, right? And bam, it should work. Now, and this box supports Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, Game Boy Color games. Uh, it supports NES games, SNES games, and Sega Genesis games. So any of those games that you want to play that are from those consoles, you can play it. But anyways, hope this tutorial worked out for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. My name is Roxanne Riley, and I'll see you later.